Number 72. Write the rate law for each of the following elementary reactions. And then we have this specific elementary reaction here, where we have NO2 plus O, very unstable, yields NO plus O2. Okay, so they do give us a hint. They do say that this reaction is a elementary reaction. I personally like to call them elementary steps. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use, but just know that anything elementary, especially if they're asking or they're telling you for a balanced equation, an elementary reaction is a single step. So what you see is what you get. Uh, there's no other steps in this process that will give you an overall reaction. This is all that you're allowed to get. So we have to just write the, re the rate law from this one step. Now, the good thing is that if we do have elementary reactions or elementary steps, the rate law is going to look pretty similar to the rate law that you know, right, if you had an overall reaction, but just one a little difference. And the rate law for elementary reactions is this. Now, it looks all the same, right? Rate equals K, so rate equals the rate constant, times the concentration of the reactants. Nobody cares about the products. But in this case, if you know that it's an elementary step, meaning that it's one single step, you will raise your concentrations to the coefficients. If it's an overall reaction, and we can't say that it's happening in one single step, remember, these are raised to the orders, and we can't say that they're coefficients. But if this is all you have and your, your rate is going based off of the mole ratios between your reactants, you can use those coefficients. So let's go for it, shall we? So rate equals, and let's color code this, so rate equals K times the concentration of your reactants. In this case, I have two reactants. I got NO2 as one of them, so let's write that down. So we got NO2, close that bracket. We have another reactant as well, which is just O. All right, that's fine with me. So let's open the bracket, put just an oxygen in there, close it up. And now we're raising them to their coefficients. So for NO2, you have one of them, and just make sure that, you know, you always have a balanced equation because if they don't give you a balanced equation and you forget to balance it, your coefficients are going to be off. So just make sure. I'm just looking at it and yeah, it looks it looks pretty good to me. So I have one NO2. I can raise the NO2 to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. So I won't put it. And then you have that one lonely oxygen there. So you can also raise this to the first, but you don't have to. And that's it. I love these questions. Mainly because if they say it's elementary, whew, everything is right there in front of you. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We just um, hit 40,000 subscribers, which, I mean, guys, come on. Thank you so much. It's crazy. It's, ab it's absolutely crazy, you know, how, how much this channel is reaching everywhere all over the world. Um, and I'm... I'm I'm really just humbled and, and thank you so much for all your support. You guys absolutely rock. And we just want to help you out in your classes. So thanks so much. And I really do appreciate you guys, all of you. And I hope you have a great, great day, okay? Keep studying hard. I'm always believing in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.